It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New England Patriots and the Pittsburgh Steelers. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to AccraSure Stadium on the North Shore of the Steel City, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today, December is upon us. We're into the home stretch, folks, and we got a good one for you here as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Here in the Steel City, I'm Brandon Gordon, joined by my partner, Charles Davis. And Charles, it doesn't matter what year it is, who the players are that are wearing the black and gold, it is never an easy assignment to come in and win here in Pittsburgh on this field. And this team always takes on the identity of this city. They're going to be tough physically, but they're also going to be tough mentally. Just three head coaches in 54 years. They've established their program. They know who they are. Good luck coming in and trying to take one from the Steelers. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they come in off an 8-9 record a year ago, a second losing season in the last three. It had to happen sometime. But you say don't pour water on these pads just yet. <laughs> no, not at all. No one should ever do that. Remember, they're always going to be tough for you to crack defensively. Offensively is where they have to make a jump. They've got to start scaring people with some big play weapons on the perimeter. The kicker, Chris Boswell, has it ready to go, and we are underway from Pittsburgh. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So here come the Patriots, led by Bailey Zappi at quarterback in his second season now out of Western Kentucky. And he's a young man who's always believed in his talents. Didn't have many offers out of high school. Ended up at Houston Baptist and put up monster numbers. Decided to take the next step and go to Western Kentucky. And he did it again. Set NCAA records for passing touchdowns and passing yards in a single season. Now the big jump to the NFL. This guy's like a very skilled point guard. Knows how to deal and put the ball in the proper place with every throw. They'll get this out in a hurry to Parker. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right, you're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. And Stevenson's going to have a Patriots first down up near the 40-yard line. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Back to Stevenson on first down. They juked him. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they've got it with a second and four coming up. Now Zappi. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Zappi looks to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. A 
Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Zappi from the gun. A quick throw there is incomplete. Then their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and ten. Zappi back to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Parker. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now a first and 10 at the 11. The play fake, and now here's Zappi. Complete, Hunter Henry with the ground. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. And a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive. Now, we haven't met a young quarterback, a veteran quarterback. It doesn't matter. We haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities, right? That's true. But when you're young, it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence and allows him to play better as the game goes on. Especially crucial here on the road. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. Zappi. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. So play number 10 now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. Here's Zappi. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And this one is right through. And that will do it for this first half. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. If you missed the first half, there's not much to get you caught up on. Just the lone field goal accounting for the entirety of the scoring. A 3-0 game to this point, as both defenses have been strong so far. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, 
they've been playing pretty well, and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second and six. Now the third-year man, Najee Harris, and he powers his way up past the 30. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he will have a Steelers first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Here's Pickett. That's to Fryermuth. Second and six coming up. Now Pickett. Stop. He does have the first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Here's first down. Looking to throw here. Pick it. That's caught by Johnson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Let's go, baby. Turn it up. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and 10. Pick it to throw. That's caught. Allen Robinson. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And now the timeout call. So five seconds left. And a field goal would send us to overtime. So here we go. On now is the kicker, Chris Boswell. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. This hasn't exactly been a battle of one touchdown after the other, quite the opposite. But at 3-3 now here in the fourth, it's been an entertaining game considering just two field goals. Yeah, is it really a football game now or are we watching baseball? This feels like a pitcher's <laughs> duel, doesn't it? Nice and tense on the edge of your seat. Have you been scoring this one? A lot of, a lot of strikeouts and ground balls in this one. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And we have free football overtime. Here we go, my friend. And the way 
this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime, because neither one got an advantage today. possession each team with a field goal as the kick is away and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line so back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive I cannot imagine how these players and coaches feel Charles because my palms <laughs> sweating up here in the booth now as we go to the third drive of overtime and as we know from here on out any points win this football game I'll throw you a towel as well partner I've got one for myself but let's face it our nerves our pressure nothing compared to what's going on on that field both of the field goal kickers active here early can one of them become the hero and end this thing here's Zappi to throw and that throw behind his man he missed him incomplete Another nice job there defensively. They really stymied their passing attempts, and it continues in overtime. And for them to do that, that means they've had to be cohesive on defense. Pressure in the quarterback's face, good coverage of not just the, the wide receivers, but the tight end, the running backs when they try and slip out, and making sure they're at the point of attack. When the ball's in the air, they get there and help force some of those incompletions. And that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. We'll force the incompletion on first down. And you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Coming up on a third and nine. Opening drive of overtime as they look to convert. Zappy to throw. A throw right side here going to be incomplete. The temptation to go for it probably there. Always is, especially in overtime. Yeah, punt it though. I think you're right. I think that you absolutely have to punt it away and trust your defense, especially put a little field position here. But you're so right about the temptation. Another way to satisfy that, though, line up in punt formation and fake it. That's another way to get it done. Here's Austin. There'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. Now their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points. And now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. Well, we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play. So he hooked up with a veteran there, and in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go with the age and the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys, they give you the fresh legs and give you all that bounce. But in this type of a situation, sometimes those legs slow down a little bit as the enormity of the moment overwhelms them. The veteran guys, they tend to come through. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. One overtime. How about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down at seven. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Here is third and five. Here's Pickett. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That's a pretty 
throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. And now we've got a review here. All challenges in overtime, of course, initiated by the replay official here in the stadium. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Uh, here's the call. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Pickett will look to throw it here. Pass complete. George Pickens with it. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Back to throw. Pickett. Quick completion here to Johnson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. So the OT clock hit zero, and we're still not done. We'll switch sides and need at least one more OT to decide it after this. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And this will be caught. Touchdown. They needed overtime to get it done, but put this one in the win column. So the game-winning touchdown came through the air in overtime. Four quarters wasn't enough. We were treated to a really good one, weren't we, partner? That we were, and I just love being able to be witness to a game like this all the way through. Who's going to win it? Oh, what? We're getting overtime? Great for us. A lot of tension on the field. Very tough. Not a surprise it ended with a passing touchdown. That's the way we play in the NFL. But the execution was pretty darn good. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, the player of their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Steelers earn the win at home, as we say so long from Pittsburgh.